Hello, today's video we've got some discussion about velocity and acceleration. Two things that often get confused with each other. So to start with, let's think about velocity. When you hear the word velocity, what do you think of? So stop and say, mm, what do I think of? Uh, you know, high velocity bullet or a high velocity plane or something like that. So what does that make you think of? Something that's moving fast. Well, velocity is how fast you're moving, but it's not just that. Velocity is both speed and direction. It's how fast you're moving and which way you are going. So if I ask you when you drive to Eau Claire, what's your velocity on the freeway, you might say, oh, well, it's 70 miles per hour because I know you all obey the speed limits, right? That's not velocity. That's a speed. So if we're coming from Menominee and we're going to Eau Claire, our velocity would be 70 miles per hour east. We've got speed and we've got direction. So velocity is how fast and which way. So you got two pieces. It's a vector because it's got a magnitude, a size, how fast you're going, and it's got the direction piece of it. So there's a really fun video by the and they might be giants, and I'll put a link to that at the bottom of, in the comments here. I'll put a link to that in the comments. And you might just enjoy it, it's a fun video. So let's start with that, velocity, speed, plus direction. It's not just how fast you're going, but it's how fast you're going and in what direction. When we're talking about like walking speeds, you might say, oh, I walk at one meter per second, that's a speed, because that's just how fast. I was walking to the store at one meter per second north. There we go, that's our velocity. The related concept is acceleration. So acceleration, and again, these are easy to get confused. Acceleration is, the formula is change in velocity over change in time. And what that means is how fast your velocity is changing. So in order to have acceleration, we have to have a changing, acceler a changing velocity. <laughs> There's my, my messing up my words already. So acceleration, the change in velocity over change of time, it's how fast your velocity is changing. You can have a very high velocity with a small acceleration, you could have a small velocity with a high acceleration. They are, they're not unrelated, but they're two separate concepts. They're two separate quantities. It's similar to how if you have a savings account in the bank, you have a certain amount of money in the bank, which is just, you know, how much money you got. But then you probably have an interest rate, which is changing how much money you have stored up. So the interest rate is kind of like acceleration. It's the changing part, whereas how much cash you've got, how much money you've got, is the velocity part. So they're connected, but they are different things. They are very different things. One of the more common accelerations that we're gonna use is, we term it the acceleration due to gravity. acceleration due to gravity and we give that the label G and G you if you've taken any sort of physics class before you probably know this number it's 9.8 meters per second squared or in that other unit that we don't like so much 32 feet per second squared but we're not gonna use that okay so ignore that now let's look at these units 9.8 meters per second squared. So meters per second squared is the same as meters per second over seconds, which is meters per second per second. What this means is that this 9.8 meters per second squared is telling you how fast things are changing their speed as they fall. So every second, per second, something increases its velocity, its meters per second, by 9.8. That's the meaning of meters per second squared. 
So if we have something that's dropped at time zero, and it's dropped so its initial velocity is just zero, so you just boop, drop it, then after one second, how fast will it be going? Well, every second, we gain 9.8 meters per second in speed. So our velocity would be 9.8 meters per second, not meters per second per second. Two seconds, what would our velocity be? Well, okay, so now we gain another 9.8 meters per second in speed. So now we're up to 19.6 meters per second in speed. Same thing with three seconds. Our new velocity is, ooh, can I do this 29.4 meters per second? And so that's what acceleration really means. It's how fast things are changing. It's not how fast you're going. It's, you can have anything you want in terms of velocity that won't affect your acceleration. Acceleration is just how things are changing. This is the key word I want you to remember for acceleration, is acceleration means changing. It's a rate, and that's what we see here. This is a rate. You can also treat it as a derivative if you remember your calculus. So we've got this example of velocity, and we've got acceleration. Now let's think about direction as well. If we have to take into account for velocity that it's speed plus direction, that means that, okay, we better define our directions. And in general in this class, we will stick with what we consider our standard, I guess, coordinate system. And that means that up is positive and right is positive. All right, so if we are defining our standard coordinate system, we're gonna talk about up as being positive and right as being positive. So this means if I am somebody walking to the right, so I'm moving this way, I would have a positive velocity. And now with that positive velocity, I could have zero acceleration so if I have zero acceleration and positive velocity, what does that mean about my motion? Well, no acceleration means cruise control. Cruise, cruise control is on. The car is not speeding up, it's not slowing down. We are moving at a constant velocity. So zero acceleration means constant velocity. So that's kind of, well, boring motion. Just do, 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 chugging along, not changing your speed. So that would be positive velocity, zero acceleration. Let's suppose we have positive velocity. Could we also have positive acceleration? So what would we have if we have positive velocity and positive acceleration? So this means we're moving to the right. So we are moving to the right. And now positive acceleration, what is that gonna be telling us? All right, so acceleration is our change in velocity over change in time. Time, we're pretty much always gonna use positive time. <laughs> we are not gonna get into negative times. So let's say that the change in velocity is positive. So we have a positive change in velocity. What is change in velocity? Anytime you see this delta symbol, that means that you're dealing with final minus initial. So a change in velocity is the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So if we have a positive, which one of these has to be bigger? Stop, think about it. If this is a positive value, which one's bigger? It means this one. So this one has to be the big one. Then this one has to be smaller. Oh, getting towards the edge. That means my initial is small, my final is big. My velocity is getting bigger. So positive acceleration, in this case, means speeding up. So positive velocity, positive acceleration, means I'm moving to the right and speeding up. Okay, now I want you to do the same thing here with a positive velocity and a negative acceleration. So hit pause and then see if you can figure out what kind of motion that would be. All right, let's see what we've got. Positive velocity, that means we're moving to the right. 
So we're moving to the right. And now a negative acceleration. Okay, so a negative acceleration means a negative change in velocity. So if this is a negative change in velocity, what is that gonna mean? Well, that means this is the small one, whoop, minus the bigger one. So my initial velocity is bigger, my final velocity is smaller, going from big to small, slowing down. So here, we've got slowing down. So that would be an example of positive velocity with no acceleration, just moving to the right at constant speed. Positive velocity and positive acceleration, moving to the right and speeding up. Positive velocity, negative acceleration means moving to the right, but we're slowing down. Now what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can figure out what these three values of signs for velocity and acceleration would be. Negative velocity, positive. So we have those three options for negative velocities as well. This one you can probably figure out pretty quickly. You got it? Negative velocity means moving to the left. Zero acceleration means holding at a constant speed. So we're moving to the left at constant speed. These two are more interesting. So give these two a try. So hit pause, try it before you finish the video. All right, what do we have? Let's do this one. Negative velocity. Oh, let's do a different color. How about? All right, so here, negative velocity means we're moving to the left. And a negative acceleration means negative velocity, change in velocity, which means small to big. Tricky part here. We're moving to the left. Our velocities are negative. How do you get a negative change if you're subtracting two negatives. Take them from minus, uh, minus 12. So what do we have in this case? Delta B is minus six, minus a minus 12, plus positive six. So before, when we were moving to the right, if we go from big to small, we have a negative acceleration, a negative change in velocity. But now if we're moving to the left, if we go from big to small, we have a positive change in velocity. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so a positive change in velocity means a positive acceleration. That's this case. That's this case right here. So the negative V means moving left. Whereas the positive acceleration means we're going from big to small. We are slowing down. Moving to the right or moving to the left. So you can probably guess what this one's going to be. But let's work it out just like this. Um, so I'm guessing this is going to be speeding up. And let's check to make sure it actually is. So if we're moving to the left and speeding up, what is our change in velocity? Well, our initial velocity is now speeding up. So our initial velocity is the small one. So let's say that's minus 6. And our final velocity is bigger, minus 12. So minus 12, minus, minus 6, change in, in, change in velocity is minus 18, because of negative change in velocity and then acceleration. So the pattern here, if you think about the pattern, okay, zero acceleration is easy, constant speed, doesn't matter which way you're going. But if we have the same sign for B and A, what's this one? Positive B, positive A. That means we are speeding up. Negative B, negative A, we are speeding up. Whereas if we have opposite signs for B and A, opposite signs for B and A, we are slowing down. That would be, we do I do that one? Let me erase it. There it is. There it is. So positive B, negative 